to Jeff Fusion here, back with another reaction video. Today we're going to be looking at Victor Wembanyama dropping 22 points in a playoff win. Um, I haven't seen a lot of Victor Wembanyama um, Yama gameplay and, and clips really, so this will probably be my second one, maybe third. So I'm really wanting to see what his gameplay is and uh, what are his like go-tos and how will that work in the NBA, uh, in the NBA. Um, as well as he's very young still, so he's still learning. Um, so we could see some great growth from from next year to the next year, but I just want to see what he is like coming up with. Uh, playing for Chole and matching up with Wembenyama at points here. Damn, nice Wembenyama. There. He's guarding former Oregon Duck and UTEP minor Dominic Artis. And blocked at the shot clock horn. So one thing I saw there was that he was inching over for the help defense. Um, you see it that he has at least some sort of defensive inkling um, that is good to see from from big men. So he was there. He was watching. He was paying attention, not just watching his his guy, but he was active Minor and Dominic looking. And he was there. It's good stuff. And blocked at the shot clock horn. Handling the ball as well. You see that. Nice little first step, speed, soft finish. Goes inside, lays it out. He did miss the layup, but that wasn't a, a, a bad in take, That's in my opinion. One of the issues uh, for him is getting a little... There, he got in good position. Um, I don't know if you guys did see that. Uh, so he should have passed that anyway, like to Victor Wembanyama. He was open, but instead he took the, the layup. And since he was already in good position to get the offensive board, position than that, that's it just what, worked better for him. One of the issues him. Uh, for him is getting a little stronger in the lower body, although it doesn't matter as he still gets the tip dunk. Uh, Tremont Waters, um, late in the year. Good fadeaway jump shot off the glass. <laughs> some, Tim, uh, uh, some Tim Duncan type stuff too. Nice soft Hip surgery. Up. Another one, pick and roll. This on uh, rights held by the Milwaukee Bucks after Lob. they made him uh, pick 58, I believe. Last draft. See a nice finish yep. there in the alley oop by Victor. Yeah, another pass that normally gets handling the ball and just doesn't against him. <laughs> oh, Smart business decision there. Some disappointed scouts, I think. I think the, the food scene in Lyon is a little better than impressed. But nice, <laughs> nice roll there. In the it it looks too easy for him. <laughs> like you, you see him just. Doing a lot of pick and rolls, gliding to the basket, easy dunks. He usually takes off from about from about here. A safe little uh, two leg jump, mostly. Are you seeing him finish with seeing him finish with two hands a lot of the time? Um, so I don't know how much athleticism that he actually has, or or, or is it all his height? But um, but yeah, like you're seeing him finish, or you're seeing him get into the basket he's not really settling a lot for jump shots um you did see that little fade away here which was nice so it, it does look like that he has a nice bag as far as what he can do and can't do um scoring wise and you do see him taking a lot of people off of the dribble i think that's going to be a um great thing that he does do he's he's seven two and can handle the ball, who is going to guard him? So you need a center or somebody with some length to be in front of him, but not many centers can do that. I think um, Giannis, him not being a center, but having having like the length and the athleticism, I think he's one of the few people that could probably match up with him height-wise and not it be that much of a disadvantage. Anthony Davis as well. He's another one that comes up to mind also. So, athletic guys who um, who have that ability. The uh, left-handed jam. Going back a little more urgently. Mid-range jump shot. Oh, here. 16 footer. Dashes it in. He's got. Tonight. Yeah. Right. He's got it up top. Wow, Koulibaly has an open lane. Hey. Oh, he tripped. 
Oh, that's a good pass. Wemby finds the cutter. It's Armel Traore inside. Dallo just a 31% three point shooter, but he's hit From a couple three. today. That's a nice little pump. Shot nice move. Wemby. Got off balance. Brown, a good look. He hits it. And I think that's one thing I could see him having to work on is his footwork and balance. Of course, being that tall and uh, having to do a lot, I'm sure um, he will have to work on that balance and staying on on his feet. That's I think that is a lot of of what causes like Joel and B to have issues. Um, Anthony Davis and uh, who's that dude playing for the Pelicans who's who's always injured Zion and I think those players have that issue because like they have either a lot of weight slash height on their ankles and feet and they're under there all the time so they're falling a lot um, and that eventually does get to you at some point you're seeing a lot of his moves, though, and they are very smooth and controlled. You're not seeing him put a lot of pressure or um, having to get to the basket every single chance. He has a developed a smooth jump shot, and um, he's taking good, easy looks. He's not forcing his body to do more than it has to. And I think that is great to see from him at a young age um and i can see him definitely like developing a sky hook of some sort once he does go and uh, practice with greg Pop um, popovich and tim duncan and then i've also seen that um he has been training with uh, with with tony parker and manu so you could see him adding you know more more great passes into his game but you never know tremendous recovery block there was that, uh, was that he, who got that so i love that up that was, yeah, that was a it, tremendous play Monte jones to brown wemby catching they just not gonna step been up a while since we've seen him hit one of those yeah they just not gonna step up Ahead to Wembenyama, two on one, lobs it up for Bun. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, you know, this really didn't show me a lot of what he can and can't do. It did give me a snapshot on on the type of style that we could see him play. It definitely reminds me of a Anthony Davis uh, shooting more, um, more of a finesse style of play. Like you're not seeing a lot of quote unquote domination dunks or sh bodying you up and then just drop stepping on you uh, you're seeing a lot of Tim Duncan and Anthony Davis and a modern center basketball a lot of shooting um, so I don't know I could see once he does get into the league he may have a Giannis transformation where he does get bigger um, and I think the Spurs is a good spot for him. It's a relatively smaller market, but it's Texas. And Texas goes hard for their sports. And if you are playing well, then you could see a lot of Houston, Dallas fans uh, becoming San Antonio fans because they are winning just a thought um as well as he's going to be getting a lot of footwork and and a, like fundamental practice with greg popovich and tim duncan just like i stated so you could definitely see him really learning how to um be in his body first and then he will improve as a basketball player from there but from what i just saw again you're seeing great jump shots um taking good shots i don't see a, a lot of deep threes or really forcing shots um you do see great passes great playmaking, as well as good good footwork and movement uh, without having like the ball and having some defensive 
prowess, being able to like to recognize when you need to come help. Of course, that was just one play, and it was sort of uh, like telegraphed, but it was good to see him like react because I can see a lot of modern day NBA, uh, NBA players not reacting. So uh, that's pretty much everything. Tell me what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.